Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Daily Cruise Prayer. I hope everyone is doing well. I myself, I'm doing well. In fact, I'm doing really well, but I got to get on here and say something very important because I know there are some people right now who are not doing well at all. Okay? And I have to say something, okay? I just received a download from God. And as I receive this information, I'm guided to put it out. Okay? So look. Just now, I got guided to watch this movie called The Last Samurai. I've never seen the movie before. It's a Tom Cruise movie. So I said, let me check this out. I don't normally watch movies because I'm highly sensitive. And you know... And I don't know why I looked at this movie, but it set me off. I couldn't even watch the, I couldn't even get through the first 30 minutes of the movie. I, I had to cut it off because it was too much. It was too much. I'm highly sensitive. I said, oh no, I can't do this shit. But let me just tell you what, what, because that movie is what made me receive the download. Okay. So I'm going to give you the, if you've never seen a movie, I'm just going to talk about the first 30 minutes of it. Okay. Look. Tom Cruise, he was a captain, United States government, whatever. So he got hired to go over to Japan and to train the, uh, you know, the emperor's soldiers over there. Train them with guns and stuff like that to train them because they were supposed to fight this samurai over there in Japan. I guess the samurai was an enemy of the emperor. So the emperor hired Tom Cruise to go over there and to kill the emperor. I mean, to kill the samurai. So look. Now Tom Cruise met the emperor. And this is what set me off. Because the emperor asked Tom Cruise, you know, I, you know, I heard that, you know, when you guys took over the United States, you fought the Indians. And is it true about the Indians that they are fearless? And that they wear, um, you know, bird feathers and things like that. And they paint their face before they go to battle. And Tom Cruise is like, yes, they're very brave. And then, and then, th you know, throughout the movie, just the first 30 minutes, Tom Cruise kept having flashbacks of them shooting Indians. So I guess it was weighing on his heart what he did. Okay, so I said, okay, I can't look at this shit no more because I'm like, this is too much. So here we go. Now this is the download that I received because this is some sad shit. This happened not too long ago. The people of the United States, when they established the United States, they went and they killed many Indians. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of Indians. The Indians didn't have guns or bullets, but they had bow and arrows. So it was a very unfair fight, okay? Needless to say. So they did that, right? And I started crying when, you know, just now I was like crying because I'm like, this shit is so embarrassing. It really is embarrassing to be affiliated with the United States. Because it's all, it's all making sense to me how these people were demon possessed. You know, it's sad because they were demon possessed, many of them. Drinking all that liquor, drinking all that alcohol that a demon created in the first place back then. They was drinking alcohol, doing whatever they was doing in 1776. And they went and they killed innocent people, raped women. They did all of that. 
because they had demons in them. Okay? And what's so sad about it is that the demons made them believe, made the humans believe that they were heroes and that what they were doing was correct. And really, it was quite the opposite. They glorified evil. They made the humans believe they were actual heroes when really they were monsters. Okay? And it's quite sad when you really sit and think about it like that. The same type of individuals back then, you know, we have those individuals here today. You know, they are the offsprings of those individuals back there, back in 1776. And check this out. Before I even saw the movie, The Last Samurai, because this is how God works. God had me see one thing and then God had me see another thing. And then I was able to piece it together and was like, oh, shit. So before I even saw that that movie, I was looking at a, um, an astrologer. Because, you know, right now the United States is going through some very tough energy right now. You know, if, if you know anything about astrology, you know that the United States is like, it's up for review. It's judgment day. Right now, Saturn, which is the planet of judgment, the planet of karma, it will issue our karma. It's, 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 it's a malefic. That means it is a bad planet. I mean, it, it, will, it will do some shit. Saturn is opposite, which is opposing the United States, you know, uh, Mercury. So there's a lot going on. I don't want to go into the astrology, but just know right now there is a lot of energy, like Judgment Day energy, over the United States. I'll just say it like that. So this is why God had me, you know. So the astrologer was talking about 1776. And she said this. She said, do you want to know? What else was established in 1776? She said the, the Illuminati. I said, oh shit, the Illuminati? It's no coincidence. It's no coincidence. And I just looked up, the, I just looked up because I needed to verify. So I looked it up real quick, did my own little research. And sure enough, I went to Wikipedia. It was established in May 1st of 1776. And I don't know much about the Illuminati, so I just kind of read about it. It is a secret society. A secret society. And the members of that Illuminati, their purpose is to control the world. You can read all about it. Look it up. They have members from all over the world join this Illuminati. And they want to control the world, but in a discreet way. Basically enslave humanity, but uh, let them think that they're free, but really they are slaves. That's basically what they want to do. And they've been doing that. They have been doing that. They control humanity through the television, through media, the news, social media, uh, you know. So look, I'll give, you, I'll give you an example. They had these troops, like right now, there are troops right now. That's why I'm doing a video, because I'm doing this video to help y'all. Because when y'all realize, you know, that the, these military soldiers when you wake up and realize what you have done and what you have been doing 
you know you're going to need an exorcism. Because many of you are possessed with demons. You don't even know it. Okay? Those demons on you, because they're all a part of the Illuminati. They come from the, the, the you know, that establishment. They got you convinced or had you convinced, I don't know, that what you were doing was heroic. They painted a picture. They, they portrayed a reality, you know, through advertisement, through commercials, through whatever, word of mouth. They created this false reality, an illusion. And made many people believe that going up against other people without, you know, uh, stealing land, going to other countries and stealing land and terrorizing other people, killing other people, taking their land was heroic. Okay? And it's quite the opposite. So like, for example, in the movie, right, when Tom Cruise got hired, it was like this. The, the, the representative of the emperor said, okay, we'll pay you this amount of money and then we'll give you goods. The United States will, we will give you goods if you go over here and handle this business for us, fight for us. And Tom Cruise in the movie, he even said, I guess that's all I'm good for. I'm just basically one of those individuals that have just killed people for money. Like a, like a hit man. Like a hit woman. So I said, oh shit. That's kind of what this shit is all about. These uh, United States soldiers. They think they're heroes because, you know, the demons on them and around them got them living in this false reality. And really, they're just glorified hitmen and hit women, bullies, bullies, bullies who use guns and bullets to control others, others who at the time didn't have all of that. And like right now, they still doing it. They have this high tech artillery. What? How do you say it? artillery? These stealth planes and all this shit. And they go up against these other countries that don't have all of that. It's the same shit. And it's quite sad. It's quite embarrassing. I cried. I cried for about a good five minutes when I went, when, you know, when God revealed that to me, because I said, this shit is very embarrassing. And we, and, 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 and you want to know what is so sad about it? Other than the fact that the people who were doing it, they didn't even know. That's sad right there in itself, because the devil, that's one thing the devil loves to do is to make you think that you're something that you're not. I repeat, to make you think you are something that you are not. That's what the devil does. Just put this, like, it's like put you under a spell and make you think like everything is good and you're, you're doing something and it's like you are delusional. But that's what the devil, that's how the devil operates. So that's sad right there in itself. But do you want to know what else is sad? It's that everybody else around the United States knew just how weak the United States really is. They knew that shit. They could see that shit. If they had any type of connection with God, with the divine, if they had any type of spiritual connection with Mother Earth, with the animals, if they had any spiritual connection, they knew just how delusional the United States government really is. They knew that shit. They know it now.
And that's some sad shit. It's very embarrassing. It's very embarrassing. Now I deliver this message to whomever is meant to receive it. I deliver this message with love, divine love, true love, unconditional love, pure love, because I want to see you make it. Whether if I told you, you know, or not, you still are in grave danger. If you have participated in any of those types of acts, if you have went over, you know, like, like for example, the Vietnam, the, the United States went over to the Vietnam and was over there doing all types of shit to those people. All those other countries. It's like, what, 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 how did y'all even end up over there in the first place? Maybe there wasn't some type of, a, of an agreement or something like that. It's like y'all was hired. Was y'all hired to go over there? I don't know. I don't know how that shit worked out. But it's still happening to this day. It's like there's troops in other countries just doing shit. Yo, why y'all got your nose over there in, 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 in those other areas? You know, it, it, it's quite sad. Again. Okay. You're demon possessed. You are fighting and stealing land and harming people because somebody else is telling you to do it. And because you believe it's the right thing to do because of word of mouth and what you saw and, you know, the reality that you live in. You believe it's correct and it's not. If you are power hungry, money hungry, want to control the world, just know that is some demonic type shit. And that is some Illuminati, demons, the devil, that shit is on you. If you have that mentality or if there's anyone around you that has that mentality, just know that is a demon. And it has taken over your mind and it has you living in a false reality. You have lost your mind, okay? Now, look, I'm the one that's delivering you the message, okay? I'm delivering you the message, but I'm also giving you a solution. I'm not just gonna tell you that you got a problem and then just say, oh, shame on you. No, it's not shame on you because many of you, you had no idea. You had no idea you had demons on you like that. When you drank that alcohol and whatever happened to you when you was a child, you attracted demons and those demons controlled you. And, in, and you know, if you're in the military and, and you've been doing some shit, just know you're infested with demons and it's okay. You just got to get the demons off of you, out of your system, get them out, you know, evict them, get them out so that they can't control you anymore or lie to you or make you think that you're something that you're not. Because they know how to do that very well. Okay? Now, I've done these exorcisms. I've done two videos. Two videos. All right? The videos are timeless. You can look at the video five years from now. And it's still going to work. Okay? I go into great detail of how the exorcism works. Okay? Okay? The video will help you, all right? It's not free though, so then you know. So, you know, whatever you can afford, you know, 10% of, uh, of your income or whatever have you, but I'll go over that in, in the video. So look, I love you, okay? And I want to help you because it's judgment day. All right. God had me see what I saw today so that I can do this video. And I need to let you know that you are in grave danger. If you have participated in any of those acts, you see, because many of it is karma. 
you are an offspring, you know, of your forefathers, you know, the same forefathers that went and killed Indians and killed, you know, the, Viet the, 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 the Vietnamese and all the other ones. You are, you know, an offspring of that. So if you haven't cleared your karma, your ancestral karma is on you. You know, what was on them is on you. So you, you are repeating the cycle, doing the same shit, repeating the pattern. Don't even know it. Okay. So I can help you to clear that, clear your karma, heal so that you don't lose your soul to eternal damnation. Okay. You don't want to lose your soul to eternal damnation. You don't want to do that. That is not good. You can look it up if you if, if, if you have any questions about that. All right. So take good care of yourself. I love you. God bless you. Bye.